All right, hey everyone, Chris Dutton here, founder at Maven Analytics, and I have the pleasure of sitting down with the one, the only, Enrique Ruiz, our senior learning experience designer and one of our extremely talented Excel instructors. And we are here today to talk about your latest course launch. So first off, congratulations. Thank you. Second, let's jump in. So tell us about this course. Like what, what's the topic? What's it about? What inspired you to create it? Yeah, so it's an Excel foundations course. Uh, and I think it's funny. I think the inspiration kind of came from both of us noticing that we had what I think at the time seemed like a minor gap in our library. We already had, I guess you had three foundational Excel courses, right? We have one for formulas, charts, and pivot tables. But all three of those courses are actually very comprehensive. And they end up covering, at the end, some pretty advanced stuff that isn't necessarily for everyone. Not to mention that if you put them all together, it's a 35 hours long to complete all three, right? Which isn't uh, a small feat. Uh, so what this course is meant to do is just cover all of the essential aspects of working with data in Excel in just a single nine hour course. And once we realized that, and once we said, all right, let's create this course, we actually noticed that there was actually a significant demand for a course like this, both from teams and individuals from our platform. So I think that was a little bit of an added piece of motivation and inspiration to get it through the door, uh, which we did. And I'm, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Nice. So uh, let's talk about who it's for. So you, you mentioned we've already got some deeper courses that go into kind of heavy duty formulas, charts, power query, power pivot. Um, so who's kind of like the ideal audience for this one? Yeah. So this course is, I think at its essence, just designed to help anyone make smart data-driven decisions. And the goal is just to give you the tools to do that by helping you build that understanding of Excel core features and functionality, right? So that means we're going to focus on those foundational data analytics skills rather than those more advanced or specialized topics that are maybe only for data folks, which is a good thing because it, it does mean that I think this course is literally designed for everyone. It's not just for data professionals. So regardless of your role, I'd say that data literacy, which we know is a hot topic right now, hmm. can just help you work smarter, make a bigger impact at your organization or even just in your life uh, with the data that we have all around us. And what we want to do is just help you build the confidence to do that through that course. So if you're not in a data role, I argue that this is the only Excel course that you'll ever need. If you are in a data role, I think it sets you up perfectly to build on that foundation as you seek to maybe dive into deeper or more advanced topics. That's perfect. And it honestly reminds me of like going back to the very early days when I first developed the plans to teach my first course, which was Excel formulas. Uh, 10 years ago now, which is wow. absolutely crazy. Um, but like my whole inspiration for teaching that course was seeing these colleagues around me who weren't just, you know, other data analysts. These were people who were in uh, the finance function or sales or marketing or media who would come to me with these like very common um, data quality questions, common like challenges that they were trying to solve manually because they didn't really have that uh fluency or experience in Excel to get the job done. So like, I noticed that I was like, oh my God, the number of hours that we could save globally yeah. from people who just need these, these core Excel skills, these core data literacy skills, the ability to think analytically and then apply basic tools and techniques like charts, like pivot tables, like basic functions and navigate spreadsheets efficiently. Like hundreds of millions of hours can be saved yeah. by teaching people these skills. And that's what I get excited about um, when I think about this course. So I, I guess getting a little bit more specific, so we talked about kind of who this is for, what will people be able to walk away from? Like what specific tangible skills are they going to uh, master or at least really be able to dig into by the time they get to the end of this course? Yeah. So if I had to answer that, I guess in just one question, in one sentence, sorry, it's just that by the end of this course, you're going to be able to confidently manage, analyze, and communicate with data. And if I had to break that down a little bit more specifically, you're going to start actually by learning just spreadsheet fundamentals, which is really just about knowing your way around Excel. So be, be, being able to do things like sort and filter data, to apply formatting to numbers and dates, maybe apply some conditional formatting as well. And then just to just really understand some core data literacy concepts, like things like tables and cell references that are really going to set you up to work with the rest of the tools you're going to learn. So 
So after that, we're going to start learning about some key formulas and functions, which really means that you're going to be able to perform calculations and manipulate data by using some of the most popular and common or essential functions like your if, your X lookup, right? Your unique, which are some of the newer ones and other functions related to text and date data that are really all you're ever going to need to maybe enhance your data just a little bit further, understand a little bit further so that you can then analyze it with the third topic, which is using pivot tables, right? And that's all about exploring and analyzing large data sets, make them smaller, summarize them so that you can find patterns and insights. You can do all of that with just a few clicks, just dragging and dropping, which really is the beauty of Excel. So from there, you've gone to, you know, being able to move your way around Excel, create these calculations, find these insights. And we're going to tie it all together with charts and graphs. We're going to learn to visualize data, learn to use the right chart type, apply some very deliberate formatting so you can tell a very clear and compelling story, which again, is a very hot topic and skill that I'd argue everyone needs to learn um, regardless yeah. of role again. Awesome. And I will say this course is titled Foundations, right? And a lot of people think about Excel as like, I'm a master, you know, I, I know everything about Excel when really like the fact is people just don't know what they don't know. And what's yep. been interesting is that a lot of people, so this course has been out for a few weeks now, um, a lot of people have taken it who are data professionals or pretty seasoned analysts or even data scientists who are commenting that they are learning a bunch of new things from this course because you've done a good job kind of sprinkling in these pro tips and these techniques that yeah. like a lot of people just don't know, like myself included, like some of these tips with the new dynamic array functions uh, with some of the keyboard shortcut tips and alt tips, things like that. Um, super powerful. So I, I wouldn't write it off even if you might consider yourself uh, an Excel pro or an expert. I think there's still something to learn for pretty much everyone. Absolutely. Yeah. And another key thing about, you know, you might think, why, why an Excel course in, in, in 2025, right? It's funny because our next course and, and that, that's coming out soon is on NLP and using transformers and learning how things like ChatGPT work. And you think, oh, well, that's the new frontier. Like, why are we still, how come we're still launching a new Excel course? And A, Excel is not going to go away. But B, there have actually been a lot of updates that have helped, I think, come a long way in making the most powerful things in Excel even more accessible to everyone. So these new things like these new like array functions that are coming in are making some of these complex calculations that anyone might need to do on a regular basis very simple. So the fact that we actually just created this now using what well, let's call it modern or 2025 Excel actually helps pay off all those things. Again, for people that maybe just came in for a refresher and said, oh, I, I didn't even know this was a new thing. I'm going to start using this every day. Hey everyone, Matt here from Maven. Just want to let you know that right now you can get 25% off our upcoming data literacy and Power BI immersive programs. These are 10 week cohort style programs designed to teach you job ready skills, 10 weeks of live sessions, a private community, a capstone portfolio project, and a year of access to the Maven platform. The best skill specific cohorts out there. Come join us, link in the description below. Yeah, let's pull on that thread a little bit because you you beat me to my next question, which was <laughs> Excel was created in 1985, right? So like yeah. this is literally 40 year old software and we live in a world today where we've got AI models and chatbots writing production ready code and building apps in a matter of seconds. Like it's, we're living in this crazy futuristic world and a lot of people will see Excel and think, oh, that's that's obsolete software, mm -hmm. right? Or that no, there's no role for Excel in the world of modern data analytics. And I think you've touched on some of those, those reasons why that's not the case. Just with the incredible evolution of features and functionality that we're seeing month after month after month that a lot of people just aren't aware of, right? And you talked about um, dynamic array functions. You've got custom functions with lambdas, you've got variable handling with let, you've got Python and Excel, just the functionality has exploded. And a lot of people who have written Excel off are probably thinking of Excel in terms of what it looked like in 1995, right? Which yep. is very, very different. So um, anything else you want to add just about like the role of Excel in the modern analyst toolkit? 
Yeah, so there's, uh, and before I go into that, even just tying Excel to the new AI wave, now you have Copilot in Excel, right? Which even ties it all together. But I think the key to getting the most out of Copilot in Excel is to know these foundations, right? So that's why it's not going to go away because even if you're going to leverage all of these cut, like cutting edge tools, you still need those foundations to rely on to be able to use them appropriately. And to now answer your, your question more specifically, and to your point of, you know, Excel isn't going anywhere. I was doing some research for the course and I think there's there's a study, I think it's from 2023. So the, the, the number is likely higher now, but there's now over a billion Excel users across the world, which is nuts just to think wow. about. Yeah. And more than half of the businesses across the world leverage Excel in some way or another. So just those numbers alone, they say, you know, Wall Street runs on Excel and the world is, you know, supported by Wall Street. So yeah. like these things, it's just not going to go away. And for people that are looking to get into data specifically, I think Excel is a perfect gateway into the more advanced mm -hmm. tools and techniques because you're seeing, you can touch the data on, on the spreadsheets and on the cells directly. You can learn, you know, data concepts like writing formulas, which is essentially starting yeah. to write code or thinking about how computers think about and manipulate numbers. You'll perform joins by using these lookup functions. You're summarizing large amounts of data. You're creating these visualizations. Mm -hmm. So it's a perfect jumping off point for some of the maybe fancier or sexier tools out there. Uh, I love it. Yeah. Such good points. There's no, there's no avoiding Excel, no matter how mm -hmm. hard you try in today's professional world. So you might as well get really, really good at it. Um, exactly. And I, I think you framed it well, like to use kind of traditional, like full stack programming languages. What I love about Excel is the fact that you've got like your data layer, your logic layer and your presentation yeah. layer all in this super intuitive spreadsheet format. And that's how I built a lot of these foundational skills too, that you talked about, right? Like yeah. programming skills, data modeling skills, understanding schemas and, and relational diagrams, things like that. And those are the types of skills that then you can transition and apply to other tools that you can add to your stack, like SQL, like Power BI, like Python, et cetera. Um, awesome. So once students complete this course, where do they go from there? What would you recommend? Yeah, so another great thing about this course is that it's now actually the kicking off point for three of our specialist paths. So if you're just interested in the data literacy of it all and want to build those foundations, you now pretty much learned all the skills you need. But I think right now the next step is just to start practicing applying those skills, right? Whether it's what you were already doing in your life or just looking at some of the guided projects that we have on our platform, like the traffic safety analysis project, for example, that we have, that's going to let you really bring all those skills together, use some formulas, pivot tables and charts to perform some really cool analyses and, and, and have a really nice project at the end. Um, if you want to continue down the Excel specialist path, well, then the next step I'd probably argue is to go into advanced formulas and functions to build upon those foundations, then maybe go into some more pivot tables and some more, more charts. Again, all of which now we have in more depth from those original courses that you created. You can even get into dashboard design another great course that we have on our library. And if you're looking to just really build out your full BI analyst skill set, like you were mentioning, I'd say the next step would probably be to learn SQL for data analysis, uh, which is a great next step uh, on that same path. Awesome. A lot of options for people. Absolutely. Um, so I guess final question, if people are interested in this course, where can they find it? How can they get started? Yeah, you can find this course on our platform at mavenanalytics.io, along with you know our other suite of your award-winning courses. We've got tons of guided projects in there as well. So if you maybe want to apply this to a specific industry, you can find those in our guided projects and you can start applying your skills that way. Take a look at some of our other courses, or you can purchase this course individually on Udemy as well. I really love putting this course together, uh, and I hope to see some of you there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting. Uh, really excited about this one. And for anyone watching, uh, please take some time, check out the course and drop a note. Let us know what you think. Thanks, Chris.